What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with another haul video and a tangled up microphone cord. There we go. But another haul video. And today is just a Midtown haul. Um, Midtown actually showed up early. Um, I usually get my Midtown shipment in on Mondays and sometimes even Tuesday, but it showed up Saturday this time. So go Midtown. Um, so that's awesome. So it actually beat some books that I have in the pipeline to show you. Um, not very many. I uh, I ordered some books from Mexico, and I am a little puckering about that. But uh, but I got some help from uh, <clears throat> or I got some insight from my from my friend Matt over at Rude Planet. It made me feel a little better about it. But they still haven't even shipped yet. So little. A little skirt, I ain't gonna lie, but um, but um, hopefully those will be in. Uh, he said he said it took him about a month to get his in, so I'm hoping maybe you know next month sometime I'll get to show those off. But um, <clears throat> I'm trying to pick up some stuff. Um, I'm actually gonna, I uh, actually going to uh try to head down to. Douche Canoe Comics today. Yeah, I know. I know. i am sold my soul to the devil. It's almost as bad as buying a Spider-Man booth box. But, but yeah. You know, I guess I don't have to like the guy. He does have a good selection of books. And, and I kind of want to go searching for some stuff that I couldn't find at Vintage Stock. So, we'll give Douche Canoe a try. Maybe he won't get on my nerves. Maybe he'll just leave me alone and let me shop. In peace. But anyway, enough of all that dabbering and stuff. And let's get on with some comics here. Uh, first up, I got uh, Mirka Andolfo's Sweet Paprika, number four. With that, I don't understand why they all come with a blank pink cover. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't get it, man. But oh well. Probably gonna pick up five, one through five, and then and then call it a a day on those. I'm not I'm not really digging it. It's I mean, uh, it's weird. It's just a weird book. It's like a businesswoman with horns growing out of her head, and 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 just I I I can't even explain it. It's just weird, but um. Anyway, probably pick up uh, one more issue of that and then call it quits. And next up, I got uh, Task Force Z, number one. I wasn't going to pick this up at all because I'm about DC comic out. Um, man, I was kind of a DC guy. I, I was right there with Tim, the comic collector. And then, but DC is just, I mean, oh my God, they are just dumping out crap lately it's just crap i'm i mean they're taking my favorite characters and they're just saturating the market with them harley quinn and joker just it's like i i mean i'm just burned out on them so I, i've been gravitating more toward indies like you know sweet paprika and stuff because <clears throat> i'm just over it with dc they they need to they need to do something man and i was over it before all the controversial shit so <clears throat> i was over it after about the 15th joker uh mini series i was just like oh come on but anyway but i did pick up task force z number one and the reason was number one partly a cover by because that cover is just freaking awesome that jason todd's grave and that arm coming up out of the grave with a crowbar that's a cool cover. But it's also, the team appearance intrigued me. It's uh, Red Hood, Bane, Arkham Knight, and Mr. Bloom. Um, and it's a first appearance of the Resurrection Twins. I don't, I hear that Resurrection Twins, and I think of those two little girls in The Shining. <laughs> they, yeah, those two. <laughs> but I don't know. So I haven't read it yet, but it sounded intriguing. I thought, I'll give it one more shot. And then next up, um, picked up Spider Woman number sixteen, and this is uh, apparently Rebecca um, Merchant is to get a new superhero identity in this. 
So, yeah, a little spec book, I ain't gonna lie. We'll see what happens with it. But <laughs> And then, I'm not even gonna save it for last, because um, looking back on my last video, I said, I uh, had said that um, Midtown, I implied that they kind of misled me into buying a signed comic. It was that mirror, or that, um, um, I just had it and then I forgot it. That Gleason, uh, Webhead version two cover, I guess. But it was, they said signed and it was cover price. So I jumped on one and I had said that it just said signed and it didn't say signed by who. And I was incorrect. It actually did. I just didn't read it close enough. And this one did too. But, but then again, for some reason, I just, don't think I've I've been told by the way that uh, that uh, Zeb Wells is a writer on there. Um, so anyway, but another Zeb Wells signed book, um, Amazing Spider-Man number seventy-six, I believe. Yeah, seventy-six with a certificate of authenticity. But again, if you can pick one, if you can pick a signed book up for cover price, why wouldn't don't you almost got to do it? But <clears throat> Any rate, um, next up, and I'm I'm getting, I'm I'm kind of getting burned out on on chasing these two because I just don't know. But this is uh War of the Bounty Hunters IG88 number one, and it's a first appearance of RB919. Another, I think, another um, bounty hunter droid. Um, I honestly, I, I'm just, I got FOMO because I know you got to understand my luck. I have bad luck. I could go, I could, I could, I could bet on a coin flip and, and be wrong 99 out of a hundred times. But I, um, <clears throat> so I try to buy these first appearances in Star Wars because, because Disney is just, is just cranking out Star Wars content and you never know, but I'm just about over it now. I'm just like, man, I'm tired of getting them. I got a buttload of them, so who knows? But anyway, next up, I got MFKZ number five. And this is a uh, Samurai Jack uh, homage cover, which I thought was pretty cool. So, at any rate, I, um, this number five, I'd probably be the last. One of these that I pick up, I'm just not feeling it really. I love the covers; they're kind of cool, but but uh, I probably won't pick up any more of them because it's just not. I'm just not digging the story. It's kind of eh <laughs> for me. But anyway, um, next up we have got. Um, I picked up an issue of Black Widow number twelve, and this is the first appearance of. The Living Blade and the Host. And the Living Blade is supposed to be someone from Natasha's past and the only person, the only man she's ever feared in her life. So, who knows? Maybe this will turn into something. It seems like Marvel does a better job of creating characters that, that have some staying power as opposed to DC. DC cranks out a new character every week and maybe one out of a hundred of them stick, if that. So it's just getting bad. And next up, I ordered my second copy because apparently I got one already of, of Gunslinger Spawn number one. Um, I... Um, Midtown has a bad habit of putting putting the same book on their on their new release lists uh, two weeks in a row. So I think it's a new release. I forget that I already bought it, or I'll question myself and think I thought I bought that. Oh, well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just saw it and I hadn't pulled the trigger on it, and then I buy it again. So this one's gonna go to my buddy Jason, the uh, comic book preacher, because he didn't get one, and so. I got a spare. I'm going to give him this one. Um, but this is um, the second spinoff from Spawn. And it's also, it's there's like three separate stories in here that 
that, uh, that, uh, kind of chronicle his, his, uh, journey through time from wild, wild west to present time. So it's kind of neat, but, um, but I don't need two of them. I, I'll give one to Jason. He didn't get one. And last but not least, um, I kind of went hard on this. I don't, I don't usually, um, I don't usually buy incentive covers very often. And I probably won't buy those ridiculous one and one hundred, hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, you know, eight hundred dollar. I'll never spend that much on the new comic book, but this one was only sixteen dollars and something for Midtown. And uh, I had a feeling that it, I got a feeling, you know, that something's killing the children is, is like just nuclear right now. So I thought that I'd try and see if this little spinoff goes anywhere. So I got the, the, um, the House of Slaughter number one, and I got the foil, virgin foil incentive. It's got fingerprints all over it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Did I do that? <laughs> but anyway, but, um, this is like the, the secret history of the order that turned, that turned, uh, Erica Slaughter into the, the monster hunter that she is. And uh, it's also, but it chronicles the teenage years of Aaron Slaughter as he's, uh, before he was the mentor of Jessica Slaughter. So this is him. This is like his origin, I guess, for lack of a better term. But it, it his, it's his teenage years and training through that in the house of Slaughter. So kind of intriguing. We'll see how it pans out. But, um, but anyway, not too bad. I was digging it. But anyway, that is my haul. Um, I um, it has been it had been suggested to me that I should try to do a live stream from Douche Canoe Comics, and <laughs> even though I'm going there today, I actually reached out to him through. He has a Facebook page, and I reached out to him in Messenger and asked. Would he be open to let me allow me to film in there? And he was like, well, that's something that we would just have to discuss in person. So come on by and let's talk. And I'm like, oh, man, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, honestly, talking to him is like masturbating with a cheese grater. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea, but it's not. Just not. So... Um, and the thing about live streaming through there is if I, <clears throat> if I said, yeah, he's going to say, you know, what's your channel? And he probably watched the live stream as I'm doing it. And, and then when he'll find out that I refer to him as douche canoe comics <laughs> and, and it'll be the shortest live stream <laughs> ever recorded. But anyway, so I probably won't do that. Um, which is too bad. It is a cool store. It's a really cool store. I'd love to show you guys the inside of it, but, um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I kind of don't want to burn that bridge. Cause like I said, today I'm going to try to go by there and check it out. I haven't been in there in a long time. So, you know, it's, it's a bridge that I want to keep, keep, keep functioning in case I need it. Cause you never know, but God, somebody needs to open another comic book store around here. But anyway, that is going to do it for my haul video. Um, before you go, please make sure you like my shit, comment on my shit, subscribe to my shit, and turn that bell on so you don't miss my new shit. But we'll see you guys in the next shit. Peace.